Hello and welcome to Lisa's Lair and I'm so glad that you saw this video title and I just wanted to um, point out that The Atlantic has an article on Second Life called The Digital Ruins of a Forgotten Future in their December issue and so go to The Atlantic I'll put a link to that below um, and read the article about how they're talking about Second Life and um, how the um, Second Life platform has kind of declined and um, in the article they're saying that there's only about 600 regular users of Second Life now. I actually think that that number is probably closer to 100,000 but maybe they are uh, defining um, regular users as people who log in once or twice a month. So I think it's probably true that maybe there are 600,000 people still logging in once or twice a month. But on a daily basis, I really don't think that um, happens at all in Second Life. And I, even on a weekly basis, I don't think that um, 600,000 uh, different users are logging in. But I wanted to bring it, your attention to the article and see uh, if I could start some conversation on YouTube about Second Life and how it's changed. If you're not familiar with my channel, um, Lisa's Lair is a channel for the older adults who are using Second Life. And I have had this channel for a couple years, but I really haven't been uh, making videos this past year. Um, so I just wanted to um, put out a couple videos before the year ended and uh, try to resurrect this channel in 2018. Um, I have been in Second Life for probably, I'd say, about... Um, five and a half years and um, I haven't been a regular user of Second Life uh, in the last few years but I do still host a weekly news discussion uh, hosted by headlines uh, so look for my group um, in the Second Life groups and join headlines if you're interested in news discussions we have a discussion on four news articles each week and uh, the discussion is usually about an hour um, to an hour and a half so what do you think about Second Life so far? What do you think about how it's changed? What do you feel about your Second Life experience? Let's talk about it. I definitely do not think that uh, Second Life um, has a forgotten future. I think that uh, Second Life has changed a lot. There, I think that Linden Labs is now focusing on Sansar and putting all of their financial investment there. I think that because they shifted their focus uh, financially in terms of their investment and their resources to Sansar and making that a successful platform, uh, that Second Life has become kind of the ghetto in their company uh, where there it, it exists, but there's no real um, investment being put into it and no real uh, push um, to really make it, um, you know, a a more robust uh, technological platform um, and I think everybody kind of has noticed that there just isn't the financial investment anymore um, on the part of the company uh, for Second Life um, but that still doesn't mean that Second Life um, hasn't um, hasn't still been a platform that um, users are enjoying one thing that Second Life has really been beneficial in doing is that people who have a lot of social anxiety issues, they don't have like a normal social life away from the keyboard. Second Life has given them the opportunity to have a different life and to really socialize. Same thing with people who are deaf, who maybe they cannot communicate um, outside of um, this virtual space in the same way. Now they're kind of on equal footing socially because everybody has a keyboard. And so so they're not limited at all in terms of how they can communicate and so I think that um, that is very beneficial for the deaf no matter what the technology um, has not been in terms of advancements for Second Life that is still a benefit I still think that there's a lot of people who are benefiting from um, these uh, support groups that are in Second Life I think a lot of people join these support groups and there's all these uh, people trying to be therapists in these uh, support groups but I think that by and large, a lot of these people who join these support groups um, have been helped. And I think a lot of times in Second Life, maybe joining a support group in Second Life and attending the support group discussions in Second Life has given some people the motivation to really look into getting therapy outside of this virtual space. So I think that that's also another benefit. 
Another aspect of Second Life that is still beneficial um, over the years is all of the educational opportunities. There's still conferences happening in Second Life. I think that there's still a, a, a community of educators that still want to utilize Second Life um, to do a lot of different types of educational activities, workshops, conferences, um, you know, talks, presentations. So I think that that has been very beneficial for the users and it will continue to be for Second Life. And I think that that needs to be promoted more um, as uh, these articles are written about Second Life, about how much um, progress and, and um, accomplishment is happening, you know, in the area of um, educational activities within this platform. And maybe um, Linden Labs needs to market that better to universities um, and community colleges and, um, you know, GED um, type outlets um, so that uh, the platform can be used um, for that more and uh, it certainly is a lot cheaper um, to have those types of activities in world um, and so um, I think that that's just kind of an opportunity that maybe um, Linden Labs has not put a lot of time into just marketing that um, to educators to um, smaller schools uh, that have a very limited budget in terms of uh, their educational activities. One question I would have is where are all of the new creators, you know, in Second Life? I think that um, Second Life still has a, a, a small niche of creators who are coming up with brand new content. But by and large, I think most of the content that you are seeing is kind of recycled ideas that have already been there. Um, I think a lot of the store retailers want to, um, you know, have um, things that, sold before and so they may not want to um, you know introduce new products that nobody has seen before and I think that um, we're seeing a lot of things in the stores that have been there for a long time already um, and so I think it's because a lot of the store owners really want to make money and so they're going with what they think is predictable and what they feel like shoppers will be interested in in purchasing instead of coming up with brand new things or uh, brand new uh, fashion or brand new you know items um, and I think that that you know is probably because there's a smaller amount of uh, of traffic in and Second Life and they want to uh, provide what they feel is a guaranteed sale or, or things that are already popular on the grid. One area that I think um, in Second Life that has been impacted by just the reduced traffic in the world has been real estate. Um, there's so many empty sims now um, that rental properties really can't charge uh, what they used to um, because there's just too many empty sims and not that many residents who really are um, interested um, in renting now. Um, so I think that that's one major change. I think uh, the rental prices are pretty reasonable, but I feel like they have been uh, declining, you know, over the years uh, as uh, there just isn't the demand that there used to be um, for people who want to be renters. One other aspect of Second Life that I think that people um, haven't really um, looked at that much is that it's a little bit harder to find your community in Second Life with so many empty sims and uh, fewer people. And so now if you go into, you know, just regular search engines, you might see a sim that has, you know, 15 people in it or 20 people in there. And then you get there, but there's not really much going on people are kind of IMing each other and private messaging or there just is very little uh, conversation happening in local chat and so people will usually leave but I still think that the new, the uh, nightclubs are still getting a lot of um, a lot of traffic I think that the live concerts that people are giving they're still getting a lot of participation people like the live concerts they like the performers in Second Life and they're still attending um, those types of um, events at various sims and so I think that that is still um, a way where people who are looking for a community um, in Second Life can always just jump in and you know go to the nightclubs if that's you know what they're interested in because those tend to have a lot more people or you know to go to a live concert um, and um, and those tend to have a lot more people but I think it is a little bit harder to um, you know just find 
your uh, place uh, socially and and Second Life with just so many empty sims and and a lot of people are not using um, the event calendar. So a lot of events are happening in Second Life that nobody knows about um, unless you happen to be in the group where that um, event is being announced because by and large on the grid, um, you know, Linda Labs isn't really promoting um, the events calendar so that it becomes a central place of information for everybody wanting to know what's happening on the grid. So the events calendar exists, but it certainly is not the central point of it, uh, information where everybody goes who wants to know what's happening at all times on the grid. And I think that if the events calendar was promoted more and used more by all of the residents, then I think that that would allow um, everyone to have a better idea of what is really happening, you know, what events are going on, even if you don't happen to um, be a member of the group where the group notice of the event went out. So I hope I've talked enough about uh, some of the things in Second Life that I've noticed. Hopefully you'll read the article and you'll put comments in the comment section about what you thought of the article, what you feel about your Second Life experience, and talk about it. How has your Second Life experience changed? What do you think about the technology? What do you feel like uh, Second Life uh, can still be? What do you feel about the promise of Second Life? Um, it was very surprising just to see an article about Second Life at all because it just seems like Second Life is not really in the tech news anymore. Um, so feel free to put your comments below. I'd certainly like to hear about what you have to say about, um, you know, Second Life and the article and, and what you think uh, is in store for Second Life. This is now the 14th year. Um, and so I know some of you have been in Second Life for a very long time. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come back and visit uh, Lisa's Lair again. And I hope that you'll feel um, comfortable just leaving suggestions for topics that you want to discuss on this YouTube channel um, in the comment section for future videos um, because I certainly would like uh, to make more videos on topics that you're interested in. Again, thank you very much for visiting Lisa's Lair and you're more than welcome to IM me when you're in world at Lisa Smiles. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.